Hello YouTube, today I'm going to make a quick tutorial. I'm going to teach you a very commonly used trick of how to make an object point towards your mouse or a different object or whatever. And after I've done that, I'm going to also teach you how to do it in the light version because right now, the version I'm going to show you now, the most efficient version, is only in ProCut. So first off, let's create a sprite. Let's call it SPR Player. Like edit sprite. Add some image. We go in. Let's make a black circle. So the point of this is to make this spin around to make it look like it's pointing towards the mouse. So we're going to make it a little larger so we can make like an indicator. So let's um, reset the canvas to 48. And let's just make a little indicator. All right, there you go. That'll do fine. It's important to have it pointed right. Just, just remember that. All right. So now let's create our object. Let's call this OBJ Player. So now, just for the fun of it, I'm going to um, add uh, arrow key strokes, which will make you, it move in the corresponding direction. So I've done this a million times. It's really simple code. Uh, you probably understand this, but the basic concept is that if I have the left clicked in, then it'll decrease to XI5, which gives the effect to make it look like it's moving left. So now I'm going to do this, copy this three more times so I can make it similar for the other keys. Alright, there you have it. Take a good look at that. That's, that's arrow key strokes. Now the actual important code. So set image angle. This is the part you need Pro for because image angle is not supported in the light version. Then to put down the code point direction x y mouse x mouse y. What this says is um, the point direction returns the angle of the line that goes from coordinates x, y to the coordinates mouse x, mouse, y, mouse y. So in effect, image angle will be set to a value that will make it look as if it's pointing towards the mouse. All right, so that's basically all there is to it. Don't forget to set the sprite. I forgot that during the practice. Let's create a room. And let's add the sprite. All right, there you go. You notice that looks a little bit, um, well, it's doing the right thing, but you notice that it's not really moving like it's supposed to. But arrow keys are working. I I forgot to tell you something. The reason why it was, it was moving so so weird was because it was moving around the the axis that's moving around is always around the origin. So in this case, it was circling around that point up there, up in the top left corner. We want to circle around the center. So there, I centered it, and now it should look a lot better. There you go. That's the effect we want. All good. Now I'm going to teach you how to do this in light version. First off, click go to the sprite and click animation, rotation sequence, and it has to be counterclockwise. Now let's make it do 90 frames. The more frames, the better it looks, but I want to show you how it looks in 90 frames so I can show you how to uh, translate it because I'm guessing that if you have 360 frames in the sprite, then it'll do something to slow down the computer. So we'll do 90. All right. So there you go, 90 frames of it moving, or spinning, I guess. Alright, that's all for that. Now let's go back and play here. Let's go in the step event, and let's take this out, because, like I said, image angle is supported in light version, so you're not going to be able to use this, or at least not in the same way. First off, we don't want to just animate um, off the bat. We want to do, depending on the mouse, so let's put on image speed equals 0, and image index equals zero. So now here put down image index equals point direction x y mouse x mouse y. So 
if image index had 360 images, sub images, this would work fine. Just just think through it in your head, and, and um, it'll make sense. But since you have 90 sub sub, sub images, <laughs> since you have nine, 90 sub images, we need to divide this by four because 90 fits in 360 four times, and this will decide what the image index is. Um, you you might think that uh, if it ends up in a half, that image index will be messed up, but it's not. It uh, apparently has some sort of rounding system going on. All right, so now let's look at it again. Yep, the same effect. Um, a few uh, irritating things about the light version is that it only works if the sprite isn't animated because the animation is taken up by the spinning thing. So uh, I would still suggest you, you get pro. Okay. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned a lot from this tutorial. This tutorial is now off the list. If you want, um, if you have any suggestions for new tutorials, tell me and I'll, and I'll add them to this list. Like here, here's some that are coming up. And here are some of the retro games ones that are coming up that I'll, I'll be working on again soon. So that's all. I'll see you guys next time.